Mikey Taylor, lead singer for Saints, the one-hit wonder band of 1987, soared to global fame with a runaway hit, A Flash in the Pan. The phenomenal hit was used in television commercials, animated cartoons, and national election campaigns. Mikey Taylor had several famous run-ins with the law due to drug and alcohol abuse and a series of paternity suits. His failure to follow up Flash in the Pan with any other hit caused Taylor to spiral. Then, in 1990, he met and married Joyce Green, his most diligent and loyal fan. The pair moved to small town Vermont, where it seemed that Mikey Taylor was on the long road to recovery. But in the pop world, American lives always have a second act. Man, I'm dying here, Mikey. She's not gonna show up. Like, let's just call it a night. All right. No, oh, like, I'll call the agency tomorrow and have them send over another girl. That or you sing it. Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm so sorry I'm late. I couldn't get a cab and then there was traffic, but I'm here now and I'm ready to go. If that's okay still. I've been working on your songs all night and I have to say they are truly a piece of art. I. I am so honored to be able to work with you, Mr. Taylor. Hi. I'm Mike. Oh, my gosh. You, you are Mikey Taylor. You call me Mike. You're Mikey Taylor from the Saints. Oh, flesh of the pants. Pam. <laughs> oh, I actually lost my virginity to that song. Really? Yeah, I was listening to MTV Vault, and it was so funny. Funny? Was it? Really? Well, no. It, it actually made me relax. So thanks. Well, that's good. Um, no, but that's amazing. Like, oh, no. It was not great at all. But I, I got a lot better at it. I'm glad to hear that. So why don't we do a big night and uh, move on to danger? All right. Good luck. Right, right. I'm at the studio now. I'll talk to you, okay? Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll get back to you. Mike, I need to know when you're going to have the last three songs. I don't know. <laughs> they were due a month ago. Oh, man. You were going to blow this publishing deal, kiddo, which I busted my ass to get for you. Huh? This is it, babe. The end of the line. If you don't deliver, you'll owe them your advance, and they keep the songs that you already gave them. You get it? Oh, yeah, what? Get it. That's a hell of a deal you crafted there, Dickie. You gotta remind me to raise your back end. You good? I'm good. Okay. So I just need a, a, a time frame, Mike. Please tell me. All right, I'll have them when I have them. Oh, Stanley, will you please help me out here? Look at the pretty girl, Dickie. Wow. Yeah. Can she sing? Does it really matter? All right, let's see what we got here. Todd, put up the first track and bring up the levels. Maddie, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Sucks, but she's interesting. Yeah. Maddie, right? Is it? Yeah. That was great. I, I can do it again. No, I can no, do no, better. That was for a first pass. Listen, that was fantastic. Would you like to take a shot at danger? Oh yeah, I love danger. Bless you for that. 
<laughs> Where did you find her? The same agency we always go to, man. The agency said? Yeah, they were pushing her. That's why when she didn't show up, I said, well, like, what's the deal? Crazy. <laughs> oh, she can only write. We are home free. Come on, Dickie. You're, I mean, you're like a broken record, man. I mean, remember those records? You always do this to me, Mike. Look, you've got a contract. Remember, signing that little piece of paper that you just had to have? I, it I has know. delivery Easy dates, Mike. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Get the songs done. Just get the songs uh, done so we can get the music out there to the talent. Hey, right. hey, okay? I can get rid of my mortgage and you get out of debt, all right? All right. Okay, then. You got it. I'll tell you. Uh, tomorrow, I'll have something for you. Get to it, Mike. Done deal. Hey, hold on. Wait up, wait. Hey. Hi. Um, I just wanted to tell you, I really thought you were dynamite. Hey. And I want to thank you for coming in. I mean, a lot of people, they come in the studio and they either got chops or they think they've got chops, but you... Can you I buy were, you a you drink? Uh, <laughs> I don't drink, but thank you. Well, so, that's... why don't you buy me a drink? Ten years ago, I would have taken you to Cabo for that drink, but <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> oh, the bad old days. <laughs> but no, I'm going. Uh, I'm going to my uh, hotel room, and I'm going to take a shower, and I'm going to bed. So we could do that too. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, man, I'm kidding. all right. I knew. All right. <laughs> I thought you were, but I was yeah, like, you're leaving me here flat-footed and a little dumbfounded, to be perfectly honest. No. Um. I'm... Why do you go to a hotel? I thought you lived around here. I do, how do you? Know? One of the guys, I, he told me that sometimes you stay at a hotel after a night of recording. Uh, yeah, well, that was a holdover from the bad old days. Usually I was too wasted to make it right. all. That's why I did it. Now it's just, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a comfort thing. It's just nostalgic. And they also have really first run movies over on the, the TV system. I really, um, I really want to remember this night, Mike. You know, I really love singing. It's like I get to become a different person. I really feel the music. It's like this surge comes over me. I call it blue seduction. It's a good name for a song. <laughs> when they use that. It's like a wave on the ocean, the way you move on me. It's like a wave of emotion You take me out to sea Blue seduction Seduction All right, look at that. Nothing wrong with that. That's amazing. Thank you. You just made that up. Yeah. Um, sometimes it just comes to me like that. That's crazy. Okay, I'm definitely stealing that. Sorry. We, um... We could... Try the piano. Try the melody? I don't know. Hey, do you mind? No, go ahead. No, right ahead. <laughs> go ahead. See, it was meant to be. Alrighty. I'm out. Uh, something like this. Mm. A little too, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm with something maybe more boring and sleepy. I don't know if it's quite there yet. Barb, register six, Barb, register <laughs> six. Got a price check, no? Is that anything? A little more up. A little more up. That's kind of like the Dudley Moore collections. Central Park. Like We're almost there. Is that you, you, when you want some bottom? You want to take it down south? Yeah, little, little, little bit of ding, 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 ding. Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one, two. One, two, three, four. I can feel an emotion deep feel as the magic. sea.
rest of Twilight are converging. You guys sound great. You should make an album together. I'd buy it. Thanks. You should the payroll? <laughs> play brunch if that's the right. Well, so you make a good team. But where did you learn to sing? I have no idea. <laughs> You're playing with me. I know, no, I swear. I just, you know, it just comes from within, from right here. And I'm glad you like it. I do. I think you'll go very far with it, or whatever you choose to do. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Coming from you, you know, that really means a lot. Well, thank you, Maddie, for sharing it. And thank you for your work today. That was uh, most impressive. You saved my ass. Um, but uh, I gotta, uh, I gotta go to bed, right? Got a big day tomorrow. Yeah. So thank you, Maddie. Well, if you use the song, that would make me somebody nobody knows. That's a really good Great song <laughs> title. <laughs> All right, you. Good night. Thank you. Maddie McPherson. I tried you in your cell, you didn't pick up. I thought you said you were gonna call if you were staying at the hotel tonight. I I just didn't know, that's all. Yeah, I had, you know, I was just, you know, looking for it. It's funny, I was gonna call you, but I, um, I don't know, I think I left it in the, um, I don't know where I left it, actually, <laughs> but I'll find it. I just wanted to know how the session went. Um, session went famously, actually. No, it went really, really well. It was good. A little worn out though, so I'm gonna hit the showers and the sack, I think. But I'll be in the morning, first thing. Okay. Well, I'll see you tomorrow then. All right, babe. Bye. Downstairs. Oh. <laughs> you know what Friday tell you about this? No, huh? I'd say this. Mm
Maddie. Is this where you tell me that you're married and you love your wife? Don't worry. This isn't an affair. It's a one-time thing. So come on in and I'll rub your back. Just a little. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Don't, don't stop. That was, that was really nice. Yeah. Doesn't sound like you. What is it? Uh, it's just something new I'm messing with. Hmm. What's it called? Blue Seduction. Nice. I like it. Mm. Play some more. Okay. Uh, Dickie says we need three more songs. I got about a week. Hey, who'd Dickie get you for the lead vocal? A uh, new girl. Never worked with her. Her name is Maddie. Uh, she's got a real nice vocal quality. Mm -hmm. Is she attractive? Well, of course. I gotta tell you, man, it is awesome. We might want to think about producing this girl. Oh, really? Just think about it. She's young, she's gorgeous, and vocals are hot. We can make her a star with the right vehicle. Oh, that's great. Um, listen, I I'm feeling, uh, what do you think about getting the Saints back together? Mike. Cause... Listen, the, the only... Revival bands are the only thing banking any coin right now, you know, and you got me uh, writing I'm, I'm, I'm making music to have your teeth drilled to here to fulfill some lame I'm just saying think about it No, you think about it. All right, maybe you don't no, Don't think about it. You do it. All right Hello? It's Maddie. Hi. How'd you get my number? Stanley gave it to me. I hope that's okay. Where are you? I'm never far, Mike. I thought you might want a break. Grab a drink? I don't drink. Besides, I'm working, I'm working on these songs. They suck. I can't seem to get my mojo working. Don't say it. I won't. I told you I'd give you Blue Seduction. That means you only need two more songs, and believe it or not, I have tons of ideas. Come on. I won't even want any credit. My wife is already jealous. Good. Jealousy always makes for hot sex. Besides, she'll come around as soon as she sees what a great writing team you and I make. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure she will. Take down my number. I already got it. Showed up on the phone. All right. I'll call you later. Have a great night, lover. Yeah, you too. <laughs> lover? Oh, my gosh.
That's no problem, Mom. We love the place. Okay, we'll pick you up for an 8.30. See you then. Bye. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Mom. Mm. Ow. Well, she hasn't been feeling great the past couple of days. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I thought that 50 was bad, but 60 is driving her and me absolutely nuts. Right. Um, I think you'll, uh, be on your own tonight at Cozy's. Come on, Mike, it's her damn 60th. I know, babe, but I got a lot of work to do, and I think I think I should focus on that. <sighs> See what I can do. <laughs> oh. Ah, they're all after me today. It's Betty. Yeah, Betty. Uh, yeah? Right now? Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Bye. Big lead. Mm-hmm. See you later. Bye. Bye. Mwah. See you. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm late. Um, the I-85. Oh, I so, so bad. Uh, I am Maddie. Yeah, I'm Joyce Taylor. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I am so excited to see this house. Yeah. Uh, it's just, I've been living downtown, and it's just, it's a little dangerous, and it's expensive. And oh, listen, I hope oh. it'll be the perfect spot for you. I, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Take uh, your time. It's, listen, it's business. I'll meet you inside whenever you're ready. Hello? Hey. Guess what? I decided to use your song on my album. Oh my gosh. Well, that's great news because that means you get a little treat. I've written a new song for you. Yeah? I'm gonna lead you into temptation. I'm gonna deliver you from I love it. I love it. Okay, well, um... I, I have to go. I'm just, I'm doing something. Um, I'll call you soon, okay? Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Sneak up on me when I'm practicing my stadium I know, moves. I think it's, Sorry. it's really just makes me okay, jump. Okay, so and... listen, can you join us for a birthday cake tonight? Yeah, God, of course. Good. Um, listen, I'm gonna take my own car and pick up mom first. That's a good you idea. can meet us there. No, that's she good. wants me to come early to help with some health insurance paperwork or something. I don't know why it has to be tonight. Really? And yeah, I, I guess she's feeling her mortality. I understand. Okay, so um, meet us there at around 8 30. Okay. Okay. I'm there. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm. Yeah. Work hard, Mikey. Working. Okay, 
um, that's, uh... Oh, I always like to wash it down with a little drink. <laughs> uh, um, I can understand that. Manny, look, I've been sober for 15 years, okay? So this is a little it's bit... just a little sugar full. and fire. It's just sugar and fire. I mean, I don't care what you do. I mean, it's totally cool. I'm hip, but... Mm. Uh, uh, there's not. No. Mm. 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 No problem. I shouldn't be eating this crap. I feel dizzy a lot of the times, and sometimes I feel short of breath. Oh, God, Mom, you gotta change positions. I tell you, call Dr. Stedman. I can't. My HMO doesn't cover him. Listen, Mom, Mike's got a deal. Yeah? Like the publishing deal that pays him 25 bucks a week? No, something different, something big. He's got a record deal. Yeah, with? An independent label. Joycey, I don't believe you. I always know when you're lying. Mom, I'm not lying. Joycey, you two never could look life in the face. Mom, don't worry, okay? It's gonna be different this time. He's gonna do it this time, and we'll all be able to live like we used to. Yeah, was that so great? with him cheating on you Mom, all the time. Come on, I don't need this right now. Hey, boys! Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a real rock star here tonight, Mike Taylor. Hi, I'm so sorry I'm late. Happy birthday. Do it for Tuesday, I'll give you one more. European style, there you go, happy birthday. Late no lady. <laughs> Thought of that in the car. How are you, babe? Hi. Good to see you. I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay, we already ordered. I'm really late. These are cold. These are really much more. Oh. Oh, damn apples. Look at that thing. I think a birthday was on. You're 60. Really? I mean, that's. Honey, that's great. I'm considering. Hi, Mikey. Nice to see you. It's just nice to see, period. <laughs> oh, come on, that is. It's a, what? It's a birthday chill. What? Come what are you on. doing? Hey, crazy. Hey, Ray. So, how about our gorgeous birthday girl? Isn't she looking beautiful tonight? She is. She's looking hot. In her beige ensemble. Got the beige rage on, don't you? And how's the second most beautiful girl doing in the world? <laughs> oh, who, me? Oh, great. You know I love coming here almost as much as my mom does. Just can't get enough for your music or your charm. Mm. Well, thank you very much, and the feeling is mutual, I can assure you. So, Mike, how's the music going? Have you got it flowing? Man, it is flowing like crazy, well, I'm crazy. sure Thanks glad to hear us. that. My feet are itching. Do you know any way we can get them scratched? Sure. Why not? Let's do it. I'm gonna butt in. There you go. You know, he could cut in and she wouldn't even notice. And that is just crazy. Or Ray. Think we'll be sweet like that when we hit the big 6-0? God, if we hit the big 6-0. <laughs> What? Come on, baby. Eat fast, diet young, leave a good-looking corpse. I'll tell you why This is the last time that we'll say goodbye Dickie, Mikey, well, I got another song for you. So, 
I think we ought to just, you know, record it right away. Get in there. So why don't we just, you know, book the session, uh, you know, 11. We'll be in after 11. Great, great, great. I'll get Manny. No. You, wh why? Why the hell not? I mean, she makes your stuff sound new. We need a mic. Uh, we need all the help we can get. Listen to me. Very carefully, you prick. You, you don't like my music? You tell it to my face, all right? I, I'm sick of, of your innuendos and, and your sarcasm when you're dealing with my art. So just go to hell, Dickie. Jeez. Mike. Coming. Shopping? Gone to the store? I'll go down. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you know that Mountain View house I had, the one in escrow for over two months? Yeah. The damn lender pulled the funding. What? There's all this crap going on with the frozen liquidity what? in the mortgage market, so now the buyer can't qualify for the loan. The what? whole damn deal. What the hell is that? I don't know. Where does he get off? I am so sick of this. Yeah, fight. it sucks. I've been working on these songs all night. They're really good, Mike. These? How many you got? Two. Hey, wow. Blue Seduction and Temptation. Wow, you've been holding out on us, Mike. <laughs> that's great. He has. They're really great. They're even better than the other songs, if that's even possible. <laughs> well, we're all here now. Why don't we record something? Hey, thanks for having me back. I appreciate it more than you'll know. I didn't finish Temptation. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you'd be happy. I told you I'm giving you the songs. All right, let's get cracking. All right, let's see what we got here. Go ahead. You say you're afraid of me. Right. Um, I don't think you're feeling it, right? Because, um, I don't know, I just don't. So I need you to feel it more. Sorry, uh, just give me a minute. Sure, take your time. Go. You say you're... God, God, come on, Maddie, pay attention, would you? I'm sorry, Mike. Okay, here we go. On three. Go. You say you're afraid of me. You say you've never felt this way. You say I appeal to um. your... I don't know, just go again. Come on, Mike, she's doing great. Okay, contrary to Stanley's opinion, I don't think you're feeling it, because I don't think you're going deep enough. So I need you to go deeper. All right, Maddie? Deeper. So 
Let's just go deeper. Okay, here we go. You say you're afraid of me. You say you've never felt this way. You say I appeal to your dark side. And now you don't care, even if that's hell to pay. I'm gonna leave you in. Um, you know the sound that, um, migrating geese. Oh, come on, Mike. It's a piece of crap. Sing it yourself. What? All right. All right. Come on. I can't work with this. You're starting to act like the same jerk you were 15 years ago without the excuses. Mike. Sorry, I tried. What's that supposed to mean? Just what I said. There was no one else available. Good turn. What the hell's going on here? I wanted another singer. He said he couldn't find one. He said they were all busy. He's lying. I know. He loves her. And I thought you were happy with her performance last week anyway. Yeah, well, I was. Then what's the problem? I don't get it. You're not supposed to get it, Stanley. You're just supposed to sit there and act employed. So the next time some up and coming young hopeful wanders in our doors, we don't look like a bunch of washed up has beens trying to recreate pop history. You know. Converted dentist. What the hell's wrong with him? He's loaded, Dickie. Oh. I thought you were Stanley. Give me a break. What, you're screwing Stanley too? Come on. I want a career in the music business. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Look, Maddie, you gotta understand how hard this is for me, okay? I, I've been sober for 15 years. I haven't had a hit record in 20. You turn up, suddenly I'm writing miraculously, but they're not my songs, they're your songs, okay? And you're screwing my brains out like they haven't been in God knows how long, and it's doing my head in, all right? You're driving me insane here. You know what? You're right. You don't deserve to be treated like this. We're through, and I'm okay with that. You can go now. Wait, no. no. Well, are you going? Come on, you act like a puppy dog. Stop licking your wounds and get your butt in here for one last nightcap before you turn in. We should go home, though, tonight. Mike and I have some catching up to do. Go on. I'll be all right.
Stanley. You and Stanley. I'm not buying it. He's buying it. Go home, Mike. Go home and try not to think of me while you're screwing your wife. Go home. Or screw me, Mike. Those are your only choices. I could kill you. Do it. Thanks, my love, for a wonderful night. You sure know how to party. Here's the new song I wrote for us. It's called <coughs> Living on the Edge. I love you. Dicky, I'm tired, I'm freezing. Looks like something the dog found in the garbage. It's easy for you to say. I'm worried about you. Yeah. 
Oh, well, I'm fine. Matter of fact, I, I got another song for you. Mm, that was quick. Well, Matt is working me. For me. With me. Matt? Yeah. Oh, I'm finally starting to get it. Mike, as much as I need these songs, it's not worth you backsliding into your old ways again. I can handle it, all right? Look, Maddie's a terrific singer, but otherwise she's just a diversion. You know that. I think I got it under control. So, yeah. thanks. Let's see. You are a married man going around sniffing up the skirt of a 20-something-year-old. While Joyce, the one who stuck with you through all the girls, booze, and rehab, she plays the unsuspecting wife. Yeah. We're playing with dynamite here, Mike. Without Joyce, you'd have been dead years ago. Yeah. Well, then you gotta let it go. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Maddie can't be yours. Right. She just can't be. Okay. So snap out of it. All right, fine, but you're gonna have to leave, man. We you're gotta doing... finish this project. You got work to do. Mike! I have had it with you, buddy. Hello. Oh, hey, Joyce. No, I have not been drinking. Because I know whether I've been drinking. What? Look, look, I'm working, babe. Okay, so. I'm, all right. Now there's some. There's somebody, honey. There's somebody at the door. I gotta go. I'll call you in a bit. All right. All right. Have a nice day. Bye. Oh, all right. 
Aren't you gonna invite me in? Um, I would, but I just think it's a mistake right now, here. Please, I, I, I brought you something. Yeah, I, exactly, honey, I can't, that coke, I can't do that stuff anymore. I, I went and recorded it with Dickie and Stanley. They're, they're great, you're really gonna like it. They're our songs, the ones that we wrote together. Please, I, I think you're just, you're gonna love listening to them. So the other crazy thing about Puccini is that he's like this, like a mathematician. Like he could break your heart in three notes no matter how many Who's the old lady? So an aria. See, that's my uh, wife. I like her face. She has kind eyes. Yeah, she does. She's, and she is kind. She's, she what looks kind of she is. What does she do? Uh, real estate. Oh. That's cool, real estate agent. But does she understand you? I mean, she's not an artist. Oh, she's totally artistic, I mean, in her own way. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, but I, I know she was a completely supportive. She was one of our biggest fans, biggest fan of the Saints. Uh, I wouldn't technically call her a groupie, but she'd like would come to all the gigs and she'd be backstage. And it's, I mean, thank God we actually met because, you know, she totally saved my life from this stuff yeah, here. Yeah, you want to listen to this song? I was you know, clinically dead, you know, for like two minutes and she pulled some Baywatch CPR. Can we listen to our song now? They're your songs, okay? Come on, really. Come on. No, Maddie. At least leave the CD. Maddie. Joyce is, um, she's got, she's doing something tonight with her mom, and, uh, so I'm free. I'm uh, alone here. If you want to come by, come on back, bring that CD or whatever else you want to bring over, and we can write, hang out. I feel, I'm feeling really productive, so, uh, yeah, come on by, or I'll come up there, whatever. All right, call me if it's in the flow. Three songs. 
I gave you blue seduction, I gave you temptation, I gave you living on the edge, which you seem to be doing pretty well right now. Uh, I can now. write my own material. I want to write my own songs if you just leave me alone. Mm. Bravo. Blame it on me. The one person you do not want to get rid of because I fit into all of your addictions. What are you talking about? The booze. Come on. The sex. The drugs. What? The rage. The, the what? Just get out! What do you... What do you want from me? I can sing. I can write, I can love you better than anyone. You need me! Not anymore! Get out! Get out! Good night! Had a real good time! Thank you! Bye. Stupid bitch! How many? Mike, I do not deserve that. I've been up all night with my dying mother, worried sick, and what the hell have you been doing that you can't be disturbed? I'm sorry, baby. I'm really sorry. I was writing. I got kind of caught up in the uh, character of the song, and I didn't know that it was you, babe. I'm sorry. How's mom? She's out of intensive care. They've given her a sedative to help her sleep through the night. What would they give her? I mean, does. Never mind. Uh, good. Listen, why don't we go to Cozy's and unwind? I think we could both stand a relaxed evening together, reconnect, forget your lousy music for one night. I would love to go to Cozy's. And I love you. And I don't want to lose you. I'm so sorry to hear about your mom. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ray. It's been a little rough, but we're hoping she'll pull through. Your friend came by the other night. My friend? Oh, my client. Yeah. How was she? Was she any good? She was great. In fact, we're going to ask her to sing a few songs tonight. Oh, good. You're going to like this gal. And she's going to need some help getting your stuff out there. Oh, yeah? Good. Yeah, you know, you might be able to give her a hand up. All right, I'll, yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Who's your friend? Uh, I've been showing her houses for the last week. She's a songwriter. Oh, really? I know. I'm sorry. She just, she's a big fan of yours. And when she found out that I was married to you, she couldn't wait to meet you. She kind of went crazy. She can audition for you. She's a very nice girl, Mikey. Just, just give her a chance. What's her name? Ladies and gentlemen, Maddie McPherson. Thanks, guys. I 
want to say thank you to Crazy and Ray, and a special thanks to Joyce for giving me this opportunity to sing here tonight. This is a song I wrote for a special someone. It's called Temptation. She's a really good songwriter. Maybe you guys could get together and work on some songs. Make it easier for you, come up with some new stuff. Joyce, what do you think? Listen. What? I've got it. Mikey, what? Say it. It's nothing. All right, it's nothing. Forget about it. Hey. Hey. That was great. Very impressive. Thank you very much. Hey. Oh, Maddie, this is my husband, Mike. Oh, well, I'd recognize him anywhere. <laughs> thanks so much for coming tonight. Oh, great set. Here, pull up a seat. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, Maddie, I meant to tell you, they dropped the price on the house you like. Oh, my God, I love that house. Thank you so much. Thank you. you have an amazing wife, Mikey. Can I call you Mikey? We have so much in common. We have the same taste and everything. <laughs> Did you like the song, Mikey? Uh, yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's really, uh, for what I heard, I mean, it's interesting. It sounds a little like something I'm working on, but yeah. uh, it was, no, very impressive. <laughs> well, uh, I just recently recorded this song, and it's copywritten, so I hope we don't start off with a copyright problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Meg, because I don't recall hearing you play anything like that. You know what? You're right. And um, I could cry. I could hear it again. If you, but right now, I'm going to put it back. Shot straight up, go back. You are making an ass of yourself. What about you? You're kissing up to Miss Wannabe over there. Come on. What are you jealous of her talent? No, are you jealous of her beauty? I'll be at the hospital with my mother. All right, I'll be right here with my bottle. What the heck was that all about? Oh, sweetheart, you should know you orchestrated it. You know, I could have anyone in this bar. But I want you. That is not saying much. I mean, have you seen this place? Taste me, darling. Yeah, that's a good boy. No. Stop.
Nice. You're home. Yeah, I'm home, baby. Oh, Joyce. I've got to talk to you. I got to talk to you about me and Maddie. Don't worry. Man, I'm feeling so sleepy. It's because I gave you a sedative. To help you relax. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. You don't have to be sorry. Just tell me you love me. I love you. Some constitution there, sailor. I thought your heart would have exploded by now. Come on, Nurse. Why are my pants down? Have you ever had my sex while are... being tied up? Uh, yeah. Mikey? Yeah, but come on, what, is that what we're doing? Don't worry, baby. What are we doing? Uh, come on now. You know, I think it's about time we call Stanley. Yeah. Why? Well, I was thinking about a hundred grand per song. <laughs> you think that's over the top? No, I think it's very reasonable. Hmm. I'll give you a hundred grand if you pull up my pants and untie me. Yeah. <laughs> Problem with that is, you don't have a hundred grand. No. You know why? <laughs> because you're broke mm -hmm. and you're a loser. Yeah, okay. well, that's a little harsh. Maybe true. But I'll tell you what, you untie me, I'll use your songs, and we can negotiate, because th this is... All right, come on, this is... It hurts. Can you take me out of here? Don't treat me like one of your groupies. Uh, okay, yeah. I'll treat you like you're crazy, then. You know what I find what? amazing? What's that? Is that I put all that crap in your drink and you still keep going. You're like a bull elephant. What is this? Come on. Cool. What are you, come on. What are you trying to do? Where's that? Here we go. What are you, what are you trying to do? Kill you. No. No. Oh. 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 Sir, please don't run in my halls. Oh, Wait a minute. It's 264. Hold on. Sir. Sir, you left so quickly. Jan Stevens went home this morning. She went home to her daughter. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Listen, I'm gonna run, okay? Because you ran. I saw... Oh, uh, hand sanitizer. Where did I... Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? I, I'm, I'm sorry for, 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 for everything. I didn't mean to hurt you, oh, baby. Oh, really? Which time, Mikey, then or now? <sighs> you are my Gibraltar, and I know that. You are my rock. I have you... heard this before, Mikey. It's the same thing every single time. Me first, Mikey Taylor, but when things start to get a little rough, oh, please, Joyce, please help me. What the hell do you want? Maddie is crazy, and she's trying to kill me, okay? You, you, she's... Come on! She's blackmailing us and she's trying to kill me! What motive would she have for killing you? She's obsessed with me! Oh! Come on! Lock the doors, all right? I'm gonna take care of this! I'm going to the cops! Shut up!
What can I do for you? Um, missing person? No. Uh, my name is Mike Taylor. That's Maddie McPherson. Uh, she broke into my house, forced me to have sex with her. She blackmailed me and threatened to kill me. You expect to lay rape charges against her? Yeah. That's a new one. Yeah. Breaking an entry, and you heard of that? Forcible entry, was it? Were you being funny? Right. That's a no joke. sir. Was it forcible entry? No, it's okay. She drove me home. Okay, I was intoxicated, so she drove me home. Thank goodness for that. I don't think you're following me, right? You see, it only works if she broke your window or she picked your lock. It doesn't qualify if you let I her in. I understand the principles of breaking and entering, but that's not really what I'm talking about here, okay? Let's, okay, okay let's, no, please, let me, let's just say that we're already in the house, okay? However we got in, we're in the house. So at which point, Mr. the Taylor. suspect, please, she threatens me, okay? For what it's worth, if a girl like that takes a stand, you better hope that every jury member is a very matronly woman. Thank you so much for that observation, officer. Well, just in case something happens to you, I'm going to put her picture right over here so I don't forget what the suspect looks like. Hey, Eddie. That's really yeah. Cool. Call the squadron on this one. We got a new rapist. Right over here. Oh, man. She ties you up and she makes you have sex with her. Okay, you're making a joke at my expense. I come in with a formal complaint and you're making a joke. What makes you think she's not dangerous? Because she's beautiful? Is Mr. that it? Taylor. That is some real twisted... Reverse discrimination you got going there. Give me her address, and I'll have Officer Eddie go out and interview her. It's a first. Thank you. You're very welcome, sir. At least now she'll know there is a formal complaint. And in case something does happen to me, Absolutely. a citizen, I'm a citizen, all right? Thank you, Mr. Taylor. No, thank you. Person? Yeah. I need to ask you a few questions. Sure. Come on in. Do you know a Mike Taylor? Sure. Everybody knows Mikey Taylor from the Saints. No, you're kidding. That was him? Jeez, I didn't even recognize him. Nobody does since he became a sexaholic, drugaholic. Alcoholic wannabe comeback. I have to ask, did you have sex with him? I recorded some demos with him. He came over, I let him in. He forced me down. Why didn't you call the police? I was too embarrassed. His friend Stanley came over and I wouldn't even tell him. Let's just let's leave it at that unless I'm pregnant. Which I could be. And then who would want me? A girl like me all alone who wants damaged goods. Well, I have to tell you, Mr. Taylor's claiming you raped him. Uh, what? Y you see him and you see me. Who do you think is the bigger, stronger rapist? All right. Did you threaten to kill his wife? You mean his estranged wife, Joyce? The one who keeps taking him back to rehab? Okay, excuse me. This is Officer 212. I'm with Maddie McPherson, who claims Mike Taylor raped her. You better keep an eye on the house. Roger that. Do you want to press charges? Come down to the station? Um, maybe just a restraining order in case he tries again. Sure, I can do that for you. And I can get you a temporary one tonight, but tomorrow you have to go before the judge. I can write the address down for you. Is 200 feet okay? Yeah. Uh, thanks, officer. 
bag. Thanks for your help. No offense, Mike, but I think we should just use her music anyway. Just pay her off. Not a hundred grand. And cut her loose. But we need her music. Yeah. We'll record the last song. You don't even have to be there. I, I, I take a break, man. Go home to Joyce, rehab, whatever you gotta do. Can't you see? I just can't stand this girl, child, woman making money off of me, taking credit. All right, she wrote them, but Jesus, getting doing everything in her power to make my life hell. Sorry, Mike, about everything. But the due date's tomorrow, man. So please, let us finish the song with Maddie tonight. What choice do I have? Sign here, man. We'll cut her a check. Hello. Mr. Taylor. Yeah. Officer Eddie just interviewed Maddie McPherson. She claims it was you who forced your way into her place and raped her. All right, hold on. Just wait a minute. No. <laughs> okay. No, come on. Sir, I have to place you on notice that a restraining order has been issued to her, and you are to remain 200 feet away from her, or you can be arrested. Is that clear, sir? That is perfectly clear. Officer, thank you. <laughs> okay, Dad. Okay, just... Put a restraining order on me, okay? Deal off. You hear? Hey, 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 Mike, please. Screw you! Screw the both of you. Mike Taylor? You're warned to stay at least 200 feet from Miss McPherson. That is 200 feet. 250. Sorry, I have to take you in. Hands on the hood. On the hood. You're making me scratch your... All right. Hey, who's going to move my car? That's a classic. I need you to look out for the thing. Don't worry about it. All right, I'm not worried, but my keys are on your hood. They're going to grab... Thank you. You're welcome. And I know, sure. and I'm sorry. Listen, Stanley, who, who arranged for Maddie to be at the session? You got to think now. Who, who took the booking from you? Who called? Who... Now look, they, they called me about billing, then mentioned booking. They're right there. Now they, they called you. But yes. Do you remember they, a name of, this, of the person who? who no. Called? They had one girl available, so I booked her. You... One girl. Yes. open house today, so I'll be gone all day long, but I should be back in time for supper, and then I can make you something nice. I just gotta stay busy, stay focused, think about the things that I need to get done. I can't believe that she's gone. Baby, Baby I feel so guilty. Know. I should have taken better care of her. Baby, listen to me. You can't blame yourself. 
Okay, that's... Now you lean on me, all right? It's all gonna be all right. Honey, you helped me so much through the past. Now it's, it's my time to give back. I'll tell you, it's all gonna be so much better. I, I feel it, don't you? Don't you feel like everything's changing for the, for the better? All we gotta do is... It's just stick together, like we always have. We just gotta stick together, Thank sugar. you, baby. So, Thank you. Thank you. Joy, Joyce, guess what? It, I, I, I just wrote a good song. Or another good song, but it, uh, <laughs> the words and the music, they flowed simultaneously. It's like, I don't know, it's a, it, I don't know, it's, I guess the slump is over or something like that. It's, but the, it rocks, you know? It genuinely rocks. And I, I want to take you out to dinner. I want to celebrate. Oh, that sounds great. Uh, I've got a showing, though. The couple can't see the house till nine. Uh, it's fine. We'll make it a late dinner. It'll be just like uh, old times. I'll pick you up, so text me uh, the address. But I'm on a roll, baby, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll probably have another one before I get there. Before I get there, that's another good title for a song. Bye. Uh, bye. Joyce? Honey? Hey. Hey, that's your wife. It's like deja vu, except for she's the one who's drugged and tied up. You know what, I don't really feel like having sex with her. You don't touch her, do you understand me, you sick bitch? Where are you? Oh, Joyce. Are those ropes hurting you, honey? No, 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 no. you listen to me, you listen, listen to me, don't. You lay one hand on her, so help me. God, where are you? You know, if you feel like coming on out to play, you might as well just come over. We could have a menage a trois. Or you could just wait till I slit her throat. Where's Joyce? Some people call it working. Someone has to pay for your pointless existence. Where's Joyce! Joyce! Ah! Oh! Oh! oh my knee! Oh! Why are you doing this? You're a singer! Killer! The singing was just for research. It good though, wasn't it? This is my real racket. Joyce! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Joyce, please help me. It was supposed to be a heart attack. Self-defense is so messy. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Joyce, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'm, I didn't... Oh. I, I didn't, didn't want it to be like this. Why? The insurance, asshole. Oh, God, this sucks. Goodbyes never die. insurance money to sell the house. There's the royalties from Flash in the Pan, okay? You're good. It's my turn. Yeah. Do it. Ah! 
I came here because I thought that Mike was cheating on me with Maddie. We had words, we had a big fight. I told him that I wanted a divorce and he, he'd been drinking and he hit me in the face. And then he kicked her. He kicked her and I tried to stop him, but he was too big. He told me that he'd kill me before he'd give me a divorce. He went to the kitchen and he grabbed a knife and he tried oh. to slit her throat, but then, oh. But then I hit him and I tried to stop him. And I he knew. dropped the knife. He dropped the knife and then he jumped at her and I knew he was gonna kill her. So she grabbed the knife. And then I stabbed him. I stabbed him, but he wouldn't go down. He was gonna strike So I stabbed me. him again. A couple of times. Yeah, but then and then he finally went down and is he dead? Oh god, I should go with him. Me too. Alright, go ahead. Ah! <laughs> 